What is up everybody? It is your boy Nick Noodles coming at you with another great video and today we are doing a first look and impressions at the Jound 990 V4s that just came out. I'm super excited about this shoe and I hope you all enjoy the content. I've been trying to make more sneaker videos so if you are still rocking with the channel definitely leave a like and leave a comment down below. Also check out my Instagram at NickNoodlesYT because I do post a lot of other content on there and I hope you enjoy this video. So if you don't know who Jound is, they are a Canadian based streetwear brand and they started off as like a mood board back in the early 2000s and since since then they've earned many different collaborations. Their designs and collaborations are known to be very simplistic but they use really really good quality materials that just kind of make things stand out a little bit more so that you can kind of recognize it as a Jown product. But overall Jown collaborations are more of a if you know you know type of collaboration um, and that's just highlighted really well by their New Balance collaborations and their Vans collaborations. Most people when they see a shoe like this they wouldn't know that it's a John collaboration but if you really know New Balance shoes and sneakers then you would know that you know this is a John collaboration. Um, but the materials they use are definitely super super nice so when I saw that they were collaborating on a 990 before which is a shoe I don't own yet I was really really excited so I actually got this pair off the New Balance site it is a size 11 which isn't my size I'm waiting for my size nine and a half from the Jound site which I was able to hit shout out to their bot protection starting off with the box it's like any other New Balance Jound that I've seen it's just a plain box with Jound branding on it this box is darker obviously because the shoe is a lot darker mine actually came kind of damaged from New Balance so now let's look at some details of the shoe and personally I'm a big fan of this colorway I don't really have any all dark shoes so this is a nice addition to my collection and especially with the colder months I think it's going to be really really easy to style especially with some denim or like some black jackets not a lot of people um, love this design I feel like you either love it or you hate it if you loved all the other Jown New Balances that came out I don't see how you could hate this because it's literally the same concept on another model uh, but if you've never been a fan of Jown especially because the retails are a lot higher I could see how you wouldn't like this I don't think this would really change your mind on Jound so the 990 v4 has been out for a while now it is one of the comfier 990s I think I've never tried one on I wish I could try this pair on but it's not my size and I already pre-sold it on eBay so hopefully my size comes in but I would go true to size for the 990 v4 the upper is made up of tonal nubuck and mesh and it does have some 3m accents on it as well now the colorway is persian night with black and the shoe is definitely very very dark in person uh, the midsole and sole are definitely all black but the upper has this very very dark navy color it's not completely black and it's not completely blue um, there is that bluish tint so that's how i would describe it that's what the persian night is i guess this is using an nk cap midsole which I believe is made up of polyurethane and just foam so uh, same midsole that's on the 990 v3s except I don't think that it has a carbon fiber plate like the 990 v3s regardless again this should be a really really comfortable shoe other details you know the Jown branding on it is very very similar to the 992 you're only going to find it on the heel and on the inside of the shoe um, even on the tongue there's no Jown branding it has the normal 990 v4 branding now the materials on it are really, really nice. It's identical to the 992. They did not hold off on the new buck material. It is incredibly buttery. You can make mashed potatoes with the new buck because it is that buttery. Um, and the mesh is really, really soft. It's gonna be super, super comfy and breathable on your feet. Really the only QC issue I can see is that along the um, back tab of the midsole on this little plastic part that's glossy, there are a few scuffs that um, are just there so i mean that's a little bit annoying but if you're going to wear the shoe scuffs are going to pop up on any glossy part anyways there aren't any glue stains on the shoe which i am really happy about you know how i feel about glue stains one thing i think that's interesting is that comes with extra laces and included are these metal lace locks that feel super super nice um, so i'm excited to use these lace locks because i'm really really lazy and you know, I've seen pictures with the lace locks and they look pretty clean. Some people were kind of hating on them. That's kind of a first overview of this shoe. Resale prices are definitely as low as they'll be. They're only gonna go up like all Jounds are. Let me know if you were able to cop down below. Again, if you were a fan of the Jound 992s and you like this all dark colorway, I think you're gonna be really, really happy with the 990 before. But if you're someone who's never really been in the Jound, especially for the high retail, 
I think that you'll be better off without a pair. Um, you're not going to be missing out on anything, but I hope you all enjoy this video and I'll see you on the next one.